Okay, 1969, T-roof, pop-out back window, four-speed manual with AC. One UK owner for the last 42 years, the bulk of which I think has been off the road. Uh, I think make a start by showing them inside the arches. Totally dismantled of all suspension. The frame is superb condition and prepared to a very, very high standard. I'll go around and show you the frame as you see it here. <coughs> Sorry about the weather. Keep filming. Go around to the sides up. The pod is just strangely done. Beautiful on the carriage. Starting to hail a bit, but we'll carry on firm because it's been like this all morning. Very, very rich warm interior, quite good up the interior. Lovely dashboard, one little bad part, dashboard centre, but the rest of it's good. Seats are good, door cards are decent. Uh, the uh, door weather seals won't replace in, but the T top weather seals and the pillow winds seals are all good. According to the son of the deceased, that was rats running about two years ago, just at the beginning of Covid. Four speed box is still in place. Again, no signs of ever having damage. Super straight car. Uh, work around the back. We've had the kit panels off. We've uh, took photographs inside where the cage meets the frame. It's really, really nice. Dry, solid. Chrome to the rear bumpers, I believe, is brand new. In fact, I think they've come back for a chromers, and we've actually just put them on with a couple of bolts and put them in place. Door gaps are superb, as you can see. Rocker motors are still on the car. Just manually put the headlamps down by reaching underneath uh, the front headlamp panel and the joints, the gaps, headlamps to uh, slam panel look perfect, front grills are intact, walk over to this without stopping filming. This is the first pile of parts that's with the car. Uh, as you can see, Every single thing that you was missing on the car. Pick that up. All being blasted, painted. On new ball joints, new joints. Rebuilt. Uh, the fronts, the same. All new joints, new ball joints, new mounting bushes, new bump stops. Uh, half shafts rebuilt. Uh, both trailing arms at the back there. Okay, that's the diff out in one go. The uh, diff mount cushions, which are about £65 each. They're brand new, both sides just been inserted. Uh, all the steering, all the idler arm joints. Everything's been renewed. New idler arm. Perfect uh, trailing arms, 
the original radiator mint condition uh, more importantly you can't see it because it's behind the shroud but the radiator mounting frame is like new absolutely like new in fact if, if it wasn't a new one i would tell you it was a new one i'm pretty sure it's the original but it's mint uh, fuel tanks there with straps sender unit still in it still in it these boxes contain all the original mounts and bolts involved in taking all this off but in a minute we're going to film you the new stuff that's coming with the car which replaces most of that anyway these are the four wheels which are on the car you either use them or you get your own wheels but they're with the car and also give you an idea of how long this car has been stood G7015 bias belts. Okay, all this stuff's with the car. Brand new down pipes, a complete stainless brake kit for the car. Uh, front to rear stainless uh, fuel pipe, uh, a full kit of all the stainless clips, new flexi hoses, new A. AC pipes, or if you want to put the AC compressor back on, on your uh, A arm flaps, uh, 300 quid worth of uh, O ring caliper conversions, a uh, brand new master cylinder, uh, there's a brand new gasket to mount it to the firewall, it's a non power brake car. The front bumper hasn't been on since it's come back from the chrome platers, like new. And then in all this stuff at the front, you've got two complete sets of trailing arm mount kits, about £60 a set, a uh, stainless shim set, uh, stainless pins, uh, brand new trailing arm bumpers to the frame with the correct bolts, uh, some bearing seals new, all new brake clips, a uh, new ignition wire set, New fuel tank mount, cushions, just a lot of new parts to go with the car to get you well on your way.